Sarge. How you doing? Good. How are you, Hunter? I'm doing great, man. It's great to see you. Good to see you. Hey, hey Sarge, I can't help but notice what's, uh, what's going on with your choppers there. Well, a few of my friends and I decided to play a little touch football and knocked out two of my crowns. Oh, my By God. By the way, I, I, I caught the ball and scored a touchdown. I, there might be some wrestler storytelling to this part of that. That's my story, and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> I'm with you. Your story is safe with me, Sarge. I love Sarge. Sarge is one of those guys. He doesn't get the credit that he deserves. Sarge, that boot camp match with you is one of the most memorable moments of my career. I, I still, to this day, remember the roar of that crowd when you put me in the, the Cobra clutch. Spotter's got the, the Cobra clutch again on Helmsley. For a young guy coming up to the business, trying to make it and, and just getting the opportunity to get in there with Sergeant Slaughter, I had a blast with him. I'd love to enlist you, soldier. OK. On a new mission. We'd love your help trying to find some of your stuff, you know, the things that are memorable to you, some of it you might have. We have a few things here at the warehouse from Sarge, a pair of his boots, some fatigues. But when I think of iconic Sergeant Slaughter memorabilia, I think of his hat, which you also call a campaign cover, and his swagger stick, two items featured in some of his most iconic matches, including those with the Iron Sheik. Not too many people have my, my things, and I have uh, things here that are one of a kind. Well, I'm gonna help you find them. To be able to spend the time at Sergeant Slaughter's house to talk to him about his career and look at all the things that he's collected over the years, because he's a collector himself, I mean, I can't overstate how cool of an experience this is for me. Oh, wow. That's my Hall of Fame plaque from 2004. I've never seen one of these. Good evening. <laughs> yeah. This is cool, man. Yeah. I said good evening, you maggots. That's better. The Hall of Fame speeches are interesting for us because you you see who's being themselves, you see who's putting on their character. You never give up! Because we all know the different sides to some degree. How do you bring your number one nemesis up to receive an award? <laughs> and I decided that uh, there's only one way to do that, and that would be with honor and respect. For the Iron Sheik, his Hall of Fame is classic Iron Sheik also just happens to be classic Cosro. Sheik, don't lose your belt to that Hollywood blonde Jabroni Hope Hogan. Yeah! He just started going into his character, and the more they cheered for him, the more he talked. But it was so entertaining that uh, we didn't want him to stop. I want to let you people know six years Nobody beat Mr. Bob Backlund. I put him in the camel clutch. Give me hell yeah! It was just one of those rare moments, but there are a lot of those rare moments with the, with the Iron Sheik. Whew. Let's see if I can find it here. Let's see if you recognize that. Wow, this is from Stephanie and Triple H's wedding? Yeah. They gave everybody gold coins? Of yeah. course they did. How elegant. What an elegant affair. Sarge always sends my husband and I an anniversary card. And it's the sweetest thing, and it always has a really nice message in it. But then he always refers to us as maggots at the end of it. <laughs> Wait. Is this the real deal, or is this like a, is this a replica? That, that's the real deal. This is the real swagger stick. That's the only one of its kind that I ever owned. Wait. That's the one I whipped Bob Backlund with. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. So this is history. This oh, is that's history, yeah. Yeah. Let me get one. You want one? Ah. <laughs> yeah, still works. One day, I'm at home. I, I just turn on my television set. Black and white movie comes on called The D.I with Jack Webb. 
I said, what a perfect character for a villain. So I run down to the uh, Army Navy surplus store, get my cover, I get some aviator glasses, I get a whistle, and swagger stick, and my wife comes home from work, and she said, what are you doing? It's not Halloween. I said, no, this is a character I'm thinking about doing. This is, uh, this is my campaign cover that I wore when I did my first Sergeant Slaughter promo. I've kept it all these years. Wow, so this is the original? It's the original. In 1979, I was asked by Vince McMahon Sr. to come up and do a promo for Sergeant Slaughter, and I was wearing that same cover. Wow. When I speak, you shut your mouth! Who gave you permission to speak? There are action figures and lunchboxes and posters and all these different items that have Sergeant Slaughter in that exact hat. That's iconic Sergeant Slaughter. I've been through a lot of wars. Probably 15 years before I retired. Would you do me the honor of putting it on? Oh, sure. I have to screw our hats on. <laughs> that's, why, that's why they call us jar heads. As you were. It's been a while since I had this one on. As you know, the entire point of this mission is preserving the history of legends like yourself for WWE. To really fully tell the story of Sergeant Slaughter, not only do you need the swagger stick, but I think that they would like the campaign cover. Would you be willing to work with me so that I can take these back to Triple H and Stephanie? Well, I'll tell you what, AJ. You don't have to pay me anything for the swagger stick or the campaign cover. So you, so you're just gonna give these to me? I want you to to display those. I know that these things need to be seen by the WWE universe and, and other fans, and I, I, it would be a, it'd be an honor to display it. No, it's an honor for me to oh. be able to try to preserve your legacy I, because you deserve it. When I first started Sergeant Slaughter in 1975 in Kansas City, that's when Cosgro started the Iron Sheik. And never, ever thinking that we would ever get where we are today in history of professional wrestling. Some of our matches are, they say, the greatest of all time. There's Slaughter! Inviting, I think, to try it on a 10-1 time. Make sure you become the best you can be. Oh, I have no choice now. I'm going to get in the ring with you. I will take a Cobra Clutch right now. <laughs> you know, it's always a dance. It takes two to tango. It really does. And they have a relationship, a very special relationship that um, has endured for, for decades. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got one more, one more match, one more match, one more match. All right. Boy, you're hired. <laughs> when you start to talk about certain performers, about their body of work and who they had programs with and who their storylines were with and what those storylines were, who bigger than the Iron Sheik and Sergeant Slaughter, the two of the greatest performers I've ever seen. You're just fist. 